The IBW itself, it, you know, they call it a brotherhood or a sisterhood because that's what we're, we're all about. We're about taking care of each other. Uh, we want the best for the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers and the way to do that is to share knowledge and information with each other so that everybody can raise their standards across the country. We're getting together with about 100 training directors from around the country to network, uh, share some best practices and to uh, steal from one another, so to speak, you know, because we're really sharing a lot of information. Uh, we have a lot of new trained directors that attend this and a lot of seasoned trained directors, so we all get to learn from each other what we can bring back to our local and make it the best that it can be. Uh, and that's what the NETDA is, one of those conferences where best practices get talked about. And sometimes training centers will pick up on a, a best practice from another training center. Chicago has been blessed with a lot of work coming up and in order to complete that work we're going to need more journey persons which means we need more apprentices that are trained. And what our apprenticeship programs are going to be faced with in the future at least in my opinion is how do we recruit. We understand how to educate the new learner, the younger people that are coming up but who, who do we focus that training on? How do we get those people into our programs? IBW Local 134 and the Electrical Contractors Association in Chicago have a very strong and unique partnership. We work kind of hand in hand with them for everything. Our apprenticeship program works with the Chicago Public School System in a program called Chicago Builds. It's housed at Dunbar High School here in Chicago, which is located adjacent to our union hall. It is, it's a push. I knew about trades, but I didn't really know like what to do to get into a trade. Uh, Chicago Bills, I heard from a, another classmate, and so we have HVAC, carpentry, welding, and electrical. I always did very well in school. Like I had high SAT scores and um, good grades, so I could have gotten to like majority of college that I applied for, it, but I was more interested in um, electrical. This is a trade where you have to be healthy for and you know, able to carry heavy things and you know, um, be able to ID certain materials when they ask for it. Our students are, are they're always smiling through the whole entire time. Nobody's falling asleep, uh, and that's because they're engaged in the class. So, how many people want to become an apprentice of Local 134? So today is the culmination of the entire Chicago Builds program in that these students, they've gone through their training now, uh, they've graduated from the program at Chicago Builds in the electricity field, and today they're actually getting their first jobs. Christopher Schmitz. On the last day today, we um, we got assigned to our contractors, and so we called our contractors today, and um, they tell us where to come in on Monday if we go straight to the job site or if we go into the shop. It's a group of trainees that hopefully will someday become apprentices. Okay. I do the trainee program for six to nine months, and then I could take the test at the end for the apprenticeship. And if you get into the apprenticeship, I would start the school in Alsip. Ah, my uncle and my cousins in the trade. One is an electrician for Ford, and the other is an electrician for UPS. Majority of my family, they always push college, but um, I just said, like, I know my uncle makes pretty good money, so I was asking him some questions about it. He told me that it would be definitely a good career. I definitely hope to. Freeway, for fourth year apprentices and uh, be on my way to being a journeyman soon. We are always looking for the best and brightest students to apply. We want those people in our program. Everybody understands that it's, it's a, a source for young, uh, energetic uh, candidates to, to broaden the horizons of the future of the IBW and NECA contractors. We make a very strong effort in getting our message out to high school counselors, parents, and students about what the electrical industry offers. So this week, talking about uh, the Chicago Builds program at, at the National Electrical Training Directors Association, uh, and, and seeing the response from other training directors across the country, um, you realize what a special program this is. So while Chicago built this program, uh, the national level uh, of all training directors is going to make it a, a great uh, program into the future. The future for the construction industry is bright. We have a lot of opportunities and areas that we can expand. We just got to get there first with the most trained workforce that's out there and capture that work.